Hey guys, and welcome to the easiest way to disinfect your germy water. Oh yeah, you are going to love this thing. It is so incredibly simple, so incredibly easy to build, and it's 100% automatic. It's really efficient. It doesn't even use any plastic, so you can build it really early in the game. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and then I'm going to show you the thing in action. And I tell you what, you're going to fall in love with it. It is, it is pretty sweet. Okay, so... This is how simple it is. I'm going to pause the game. This is how simple it is. It consists of a liquid pump, two water sieves, a reservoir, a liquid reservoir, three liquid shutoffs, and three clock sensors. And that's it. Right? All you have to do is place this device in a chlorine room. Now, this needs to be like 100% chlorine. If you have any carbon dioxide floating around the bottom, uh, it's not going to work properly. So make sure you get all your carbon dioxide out. What I like to do is have a chlorine room that's got a pump at one end, um, getting rid of everything except the chlorine, which it dumps in the middle, and then something down, another pump down here, which is doing the same thing, so that you're sure that you've got 100% chlorine in here. Okay, so let's take a look at the liquid view. So what are we doing? Well, up here, we have got filthy, disgusting germy water. There's 3.3 there's million germs in here. I've deliberately uh, kept it up here to allow it to produce, like, a lot, to really grow a lot of germs because I want to demonstrate just how effective this is. Okay, so we pump the liquid from here. This is, uh, liquid pump pumps 10 kilograms of water per second. These sieves only pump or, or only uh, clean 5 kilograms of water per second. So you want two of them. So we're going to pump this down here, split it, half goes into this one, half goes into this one. They clean the water, but whilst it's clean water, it's still germy water. That water comes down here, gets amalgamated, and goes into this first liquid shutoff, and then goes into the reservoir, and then goes into the reservoir there. This is clean, pure, germ-free water. This comes down here, goes through this shutoff, and into the reservoir. What are we using that for, you might ask? Well, that is to get around a problem where uh, germy liquid that's in a pipe doesn't get cleaned by chlorine. In the reservoir, it gets cleaned. In this pipe here, it doesn't. So to get around that problem, we prime the system with a little clean water, which fills up this pipe. Then we load up the polluted water. That gets cleaned by the, by the chlorine or so a germy water, not polluted water, that gets cleaned by the chlorine, and then we empty the system down here. And it's all regulated by these three clock sensors. So it's a four-step process. First of all, we prime the system with a little bit of clean water. Literally, uh, it's like 60 kilograms of clean water go into here. And then we move into the second phase, which is controlled by this clock sensor. In fact, oh, let me show you. So this one... Uh, is set to just 1% of time. Now, I could actually set it shorter, and it could be shorter. I could set it to half a percent, but 1% is fine. Uh, then we move into the, um, the fill uh, stage of the process, uh, where we switch on this liquid shut off and bring in the germy water into the, into the reservoir. Then there's a period of time where... The, the water is just allowed to clean. So it just sits there and the chlorine kills off the germs. And then finally, we have the, the, the last stage of the process where this shut off is switched on and the water drains out. Let me show you the liquid view. So we, uh, we prime the system and then bring in the germy water, kill off all the germs, and then we evacuate the system. And it's that simple. Seriously, the piping is so simple. The components are so simple. Let me show you all the different views. So let's take a look at um, the power. So really simple. I've got this pump and the two sieves on uh, on a, on their own dedicated circuit. So that if I want to do any maintenance, it's easy to just switch those off, and then the whole system is essentially inert. The automation couldn't be simpler. The first clock sensor controls this shutoff valve, which controls the inflow of the clean water. Then this sensor 
this clock sensor controls this uh, liquid shut off, which controls the flow of the germy water into the, into the reservoir. And then finally, this clock sensor controls this liquid shut off, which allows the water, the clean, pure water to flow out. That's, that's it. There really isn't a lot to tell you. Uh, if you are a beginner, the first thing I, I will mention, these clock sensors are a bit weird in that the clock runs backwards. <laughs> it runs, it runs anti-clockwise, which can be a little bit confusing. So, um, so let me just show you these so that you can get the, uh, the settings. This one, run it for 1%. Okay, so from, from time zero to time one, um, we're going to be priming the system. Then, from time two, so we've got a gap between time one and time two when nothing happens. And then from time two to time 27, we are uh, allowing the germy water to fill up the reservoir. And then we've got uh, a period of time. It's about probably, uh, what, close to 50% of the time is allowed for the, for the germs to get killed. It's actually quite excessive. The germs will get killed a, uh, a lot faster than that, you'll see. And then finally, this one, the last... Uh, the last 30% uh, is uh, is allowing the water to run out. So if you think about it, we've got 1% of time uh, letting water in. Then we've got another 27, so that's 28%. And then I'm allowing 30% of the time for the, the water to run out. And the water inflow is the same. We've got 10, uh, 10 kilograms a second potentially coming in. And we've got 10 kilograms a second coming out. So we're on the safe side with everything, as you will see. So, shall we, um, shall we get this uh, puppy rolling so that you can actually see it work? Okay, so we're coming up to time to prime the system. So I'm going to slow it down so that we can, uh, we can follow it through step by step. So right now, we're on, we're on this phase, which is, the, which is the emptying phase. And it's completely empty at the moment. You can see zero water. Okay, so... As we come up to here, these lights will go off. These lights will go on. And I'm going to pause it and show you everything that's happening. You know what? Let's pause it and you can see. So this is currently active. We're about to activate this one. So uh, yeah, let's just get out of that view. And there we go. Now, when this activates, it activates this liquid shut off and allows the water in. So we should see this water moving. There we go. And that's going to bring in 60 kilograms of water. Okay, so let's take a look in the reservoir. Okay, we've got 40. Okay, <laughs> well, 10, 10 kilograms have gone into the pipe in between the reservoir and this liquid shut off, right? Now we, sh oh, there we go. So we've got, we've got 50 kilograms in the reservoir and 10 kilograms in the pipe between the shut off and the liquid reservoir. Okay, so now we move to the to the to the next stage. So um, this is this is bringing in the the germy nasty water. So let's have a look at the automation. So this is now activated. This liquid shut off has now been enabled, and and we start to bring in this water ten kilograms at a time into here. Now this is going to bring in uh, quite a lot of water. This will process, even with these very, very conservative time settings, this will process uh, about 1600 kilograms of, uh, of water per cycle. Now just to give you an idea of like, well, how much is that? Uh, this colony, which has eight dupes, produces about, uh, I mean, something like 400 kilograms of, uh, of polluted water a day and it, you're talking about the water that's coming from sinks toilets and showers so any sinks toilets and showers the water's going into here so how are we doing okay we have uh, we've finished that stage so now we're in the cleaning stage so let's take a look well okay so we were bringing in water that had um, let's see that had like two million germs in it, right? And you can see, even while it's loading up, it's killing the germs. And at this point, we're down to like 
40,000, 30,000, 20,000. Now, it's because this works on, on a half-life principle, so like half the germs get killed in a time period, it slows down. So the less germs you've got, the slower it gets. But if we look at the, uh, like we're almost done. If we look at how much time we've got left, like we're not even halfway through the amount of time we've got to kill the germs. And here we go. Last few germs, done. Right. So you could, if you wanted to, uh, optimize this further and adjust these settings. Give yourself a little bit longer to put pollute, uh, to put germy water in and uh, a corresponding amount of time uh, to get the water out and have less cleaning time. Now, I've been I'm using very germy water. The idea is to to not let your water sit here very long. Because the longer you let it sit here, growing germs, um, the more germs you're going to have to deal with. So this is the reason that I've um, I've put in this layer because I only want this to have uh, like these tiles to deal with because it will, this pump will completely empty this, so there won't be any water sitting around when this is uh, when this is running normally. I've let this build up over a few days just to demonstrate. Okay, we have moved into the final phase. Now let's have a look. Have we killed all the, all the germs? Yes, all the germs are dead. And now we're just bringing beautiful, clean, pure water out into the main reservoir. And you can see, no germs, no germs. We are completely 100% germ-free water. And this is just going to run day in, day out. Now, you might, maybe you have got some, I, I can't really think of a, a reason why you would, um, why you would get like a huge amount of of germy water but let's say you did for some reason well this is so easy to uh, to scale right because you just literally have another like extend the reservoir a little bit have another have another liquid pump have two more water sieves duplicate this but keep the same clock sensors and just extend the automation wires over to uh, over to your new to your new sent uh, to your new shut off valves, and that's it. You can use just the same three outputs, and it, like if two isn't enough, you can have three or four or five. You have as many as you want. Uh, so, so that's the power. I'll show you my, my whole power system. So I've got um, I've got two circuits, and I've I've put in um, I've got a switch over here so I can switch these off. I've got um, I've got a switch here so I can switch these pumps on to pump out carbon dioxide. I've got a switch over here so that I can use these to pump out any oxygen or polluted oxygen that might be in there, or even hydrogen or what any any gas that's in there. And then uh, let's see, we've got uh, the water. So simple, just bring in some clean water. And because of the layout, because you're bringing the germy water in always at the top, you're uh, evacuating the, the clean water at the bottom. If you want to duplicate this and have, you know, a second and a third and a fourth, you can just run this clean water through the middle of all of them, and it'll um, it's easy, very easy to replicate this. And it's as simple as that. I mean, I can't kind, of, I, I really can't get over how damn simple this is. And look at this lovely clean water flowing out. So there you go, guys. If you want to uh, to automate removing germs from water or any other liquid for that matter, this has got to be the simplest, easiest, most efficient way to do it. So that's it, guys. If you want to see the full build of this that I did in my Let's Play series, there's a link to the appropriate episode in the video description. There's also, there'll also be a link to it at the end of the video. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe subscribe for more of these type of videos. And I will catch you for the next one. Peace out.